Hi, my name is Jackie, and I'm a librarian with LA County Libraries. I'm here with some exciting news. You can now sign up for our Summer Discovery Program. It's a celebration of reading, learning, and exploration for people of all ages. Sign up online or visit your local LA County Library to pick up a game card. At the end of this video, I'll share a link to our online Summer Discovery Program. As part of this year's program, we have created this take-home activity kit. I will be showing you how to use our tissue paper art picture frame kit. We'll be turning a plain paper plate into a unique work of art. This craft was inspired by the work of Maya Freelan Asante. Maya Freelan Asante is an award-winning contemporary visual artist. Contemporary means that this artist is currently making art for our present day. Maya discovered the beauty of tissue paper when she found some water damaged tissue paper in her grandmother's basement. Maya sees the fragility and strength of humans represented in the tissue paper. By itself, a piece of torn tissue paper is like a scrap of trash, but united with other pieces, there is strength and power. Maya uses tissue paper to create large-scale installations, as well as portraits and paintings. We will also be using tissue paper to paint, sculpt, and frame. Let's get started. I recommend using some thick paper or plastic to protect the surface you are working on. You will need the paper plate that we'll be painting and decorating, tissue paper, Bleeding tissue paper works best, and you'll want to use more than one color. You'll need glue stick, a small dish to put water in, and a photo to frame. Choose something that you love, admire, or something that makes you happy. This piece of yarn is optional, and it'll be used to hang the picture frame. First, let's tear our tissue paper into strips and pieces. It's nice to have a variety of sizes. Set these aside and get a clean sponge or clean paper towels to dab in water. Now that we have our water, sponge, and tissue paper, we can layer the pieces of tissue paper to cover the paper plate. We're going to concentrate on the middle of the plate. For this step, I am wearing gloves because it gets messy. Use your sponge or paper towel to dab small amounts of water onto the tissue paper. Wetting the tissue paper will cause the color from the tissue to paint the paper plate. Your tissue pieces may even paint each other. You can use more than one piece of tissue at a time, and you can use more than one color at a time. Move the wet tissue paper around to paint different areas of the plate. Notice how the water causes the tissue paper to release color. Notice how the tissue paper dyes the plate and the other pieces of tissue. Take your time. Cover the entire plate as much as you can. Use a dry paper towel or napkin to soak up some of the excess water from your plate. Transfer your wet plate and tissue to a large dry paper where you can leave it to dry. Carefully separate the wet tissue pieces. Allow the tissue paper pieces and paper plate to dry completely. This could take one to two hours. Once your plate and tissue paper pieces are completely dry, you can admire the tie-dye effect on the plate and tissue pieces. Next, you'll need your picture and glue stick. I have cut out my picture and I'm ready to glue it to the center of the plate. Use the dry pieces of tissue paper to decorate the edge of the plate by gluing them down. This will frame your photo. You can sculpt the pieces of tissue by twisting them or making them point in different directions. When you're happy with how it looks, you are done! This last step is optional. Attach the piece of yarn to the back of the plate so that you can hang it on a wall. I am using tape today. This is my final product. I am very happy with it. I hope you're happy with yours too. What I love about this art project is that it will be different each time you do it. 
you can use different colors of tissue paper and different pictures to frame. If you'd like to learn more about making art, visit your local LA County Library or search our website at lacountylibrary.org. Here are some suggestions. We hope you've enjoyed this Summer Discovery Take Home Activity Kit. You can sign up for our Summer Discovery program at a location near you or online at lacountylibrary.org forward slash summer dash discovery. Click the link in the description box for upcoming programs and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for easy access to new videos. Bye for now!